news in the draft world for 2021. The 49ers moving up to the third spot in the draft, getting the Dolphins pick there. And huge implications for both of those teams, of course. Draft picks going to the Dolphins. 49ers getting a chance at a franchise quarterback here. But there's big implications for our beloved Cincinnati Bengals as well here. First and foremost, it means two of the three in Pittsburgh chase are almost guaranteed and locked to be on the board by the time the Bengals come around and pick. Personally, I think Sewell's odds go down here. I thought he was, again, I know it wasn't the popular opinion, but I thought Sewell was a lock. I really did think he was a lock to be available at the fifth spot when the Bengals came around. Wasn't thinking that's where the Dolphins were going. Now that the Dolphins are gone, though, we're going to see the three top picks in this draft likely be quarterback, unless the Jets throw us a curveball here, which it's still possible. You see three of the top quarterbacks come off the board. The Falcons come and pick. And all of a sudden, the Falcons, who I thought had a pretty good chance of going quarterback, try to draft the predecessor of Matt Ryan, they might start looking elsewhere here. Because, again, the three top quarterbacks are off the board. Do you really want to take that fourth overall pick and take the fourth best quarterback when you have a chance at literally the best player available that isn't a quarterback? And the Dol or Falcons, I should say here, definitely need defense. Badly need defense. But there is again room for improvement on that offensive line and the Falcons again needing defense there's a good chance they just trade back here why not if they need defense and this is an offensive heavy early draft here why not trade back a few spots gain some draft capital and if that's the case we all know it's at that point in time just a big coin flip on which team and who which team it is and who they pick more than likely though they're picking ahead of the Bengals they want one of the players the Bengals are getting which means again we see Sewell Pitts chase one of them come off the board as expected right now I think Falcons stay where they are because you do have, a, I mean, it is an aging Julio, but it's still Julio Jones. They do have Calvin Ridley, who they believe, and he's all the reason to believe this guy's a bona fide number one for this team for years to come. It makes you believe they don't desperately need to go offense. So there's a good chance that you see a guy like Chase. You see Pitts are almost guaranteed to be on the board by the time the Bengals come and pick, which is great. But again, Sewell's draft stock, it does go down a little bit there for them for that exact same standpoint. Albeit, though, we say that, still a really good chance Sewell's on the board. Still a really good chance, you know, again, all these guys are on the board. They're not all going to be there, but there's a good chance two of the three are. Still got to love the Bengals' chance here. The complete alternate view of all of this, the probably most unlikely view, but it's possible. Wouldn't rule it out, but unlikely. Falcons go quarterback. Still. Still looking at that predecessor. Who knows the next time they're going to get a top five pick with Matt Ryan as their quarterback, who is a solid quarterback, who's going to typically keep them out of the top five. They say this is a golden chance, even if it's one year from now, two years from now before he plays. Golden. And that, again, unlikely scenario, but possible. The Bengals will go in to this draft with essentially the number one overall pick. If you're a Bengals fan, if you're the Bengals organization, because all quarterbacks are gone. You never have an intention of taking one. You get the top player out there, just like picking number one overall. You get the top player available, anybody you want. You never was looking quarterback. Best case scenario for the Bengals would be that exact scenario there. Again, albeit unlikely. We'll see. Love you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.